really changed my life. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Disneyland Gomez is my like OG girl. But she said a while ago, Courtney suggested What on Earth Am I Here For by Rick Warren. And it's literally changed my life. Tell her thank you for me if you get the chance. Heck, yeah, I'm going to tell Courtney thank you. She would be so happy to know that. How to deal with depression. So, oof. The, everyone's, maybe you've heard some of this stuff before, so I might be, you know, repeating things that I don't need to repeat for you. But if I could, it's like depression. <laughs> Sorry if I could. Depression was my life for five years straight. Depression and anxiety was the forefront of everything that I did in my life, every single thing. And, and I, and, and, and I would still do it. Like I would make myself, you know, have the courage to just keep going. Um, and, and I think that slowly, but surely it just kind of happened. I'm sorry. This is really overwhelming. me. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I also sound weird. I hate my voice. You know when you hate your own speaking voice? It's like... What do you think? Francis... Oh wait, San Francisco. I love San Francisco. Sorry, I want to answer some good questions. Uh, I'm trying to find some... What makes you happy and be stronger right now? Jesus. And my friends. My friends are the most amazing people in the whole world. Like, if there's, if there's some, if there's any, I mean, friendship is so important. And my, my best friends have literally saved my life. They are such good people. Courtney is so cool. We call her CJB because she's just, like, awesome. Raquel is hysterical. Like, everything she does, it's, like, beautiful, but, like, whimsical. And Ashley's the OG. Ashley Cook. She's awesome. She's very serious. You know? I, and, by the way, all of you are like, who the hell are these people? But it's more just, like... People who know my friends, they're, they're really good people. They're not in the industry at all. In fact, they loathe, they loathe it sometimes, but they love like, they love what I get to do with like my fans and for my fans, but all the other stuff, they're protective of me. Um, what's your advice to forget someone? <sighs> well, it, you you can't really just like forget, you know, you can't really just forget someone. It's more just, you kind of have to figure out why you're still holding on to them. Like, why are you, like, why do you want to forget them? Um, and then I think that's where you start. Ask yourself that question, like, why do you want to forget them? And did they hurt you? And if they did and it's not healthy for you to go back or to that thought, you know, it's, it, that's not good. As far as like losing someone, I mean, you never do, but sometimes forgetting can be a bad thing. You know, sometimes you might need to be reminded of something. So whatever that question meant, um, I hope I answered it. Yeah, that's true. Someone said, I think the real question is, why do you not want to forget them? I don't know if I, I don't know, but good job. Okay, I'm not quite sure what else to do. So I might be wrapping this up because this is literally the longest live ever. 
somebody tell me what the longest live ever was. I'm sure, I'm sure that somebody beat it, but I feel pretty weird that I just spent all this time talking to a phone screen. <sighs> but it's just because I want to talk to you guys. How's Taylor? Taylor's awesome. I love her. She's amazing. I just talked to her today. She's literally like my big sister. I tell her everything. She's so smart. It freaks me out. Um, my middle name is Marie. <laughs> Hi, my I'm Selena Marie. Literally, someone just asked me that, and I said it. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, I think I'm pro I think I'm gonna end this <laughs> because I don't know how to do this but don't I mean I'm gonna do this tomorrow um, and I'd love to just answer some more questions if you have any um, obviously I don't know if I am coming back on tomorrow so please don't hold me to that <laughs> but um, I'm here for you guys and I I don't care about the press. I don't care about what people are going to say. I just wanted to do this to talk to you guys. I just wanted to just be real with you because I don't feel like being on another magazine cover. I don't feel like being on another one ever again. It just, it doesn't matter. Everything that I want to say, I can say it right here with you guys. And I mean that. Like, I try to say things in an interview for an hour. I'm talking to someone and they're just, you know, talking to me. And I'm thinking it's really good. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're here. You're at the offices. You're experiencing things. And the next thing you know, it's, and it's not anyone's fault. People just want to, like, get people's attention. But I don't really understand why. Um, but I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I love you guys very much. And I'm sorry. I look crazy. I don't care. I, like, had this cold sore. I had, like, a pimple. I don't care. Whatever. This is who I am. Fully. And completely. Bye, guys. <laughs> Such a psycho.